Okay, here we've got a Martian that's being ejected from his spaceship a distance of four times the radius of the Earth away. That's the distance to the center of the Earth. So his initial distance is 4R. Now, assuming that he gets ejected starting from rest, so he's ejected, his initial velocity is zero, he's going to start to fall back towards the planet. And we want to know how fast that Martian is going right when he impacts the surface of the planet. Now we can't use kinematics simply because in kinematics we need to have a constant acceleration. And we know that the acceleration gets bigger and bigger as you get closer and closer to the Earth. Right on the surface of the Earth his acceleration will be 9.8 meters per second squared. And somewhere way out here at 4R it will be substantially smaller. Now we could work out what it starts with but it doesn't matter because the point is it's going to change at a steady rate all the way till the time he gets to the actual impact. So we don't want to use kinematics. We want to use energy. And in this case, we want to use conservation of energy. His total energy before has to be equal to his total energy after, just like dropping a ball. The ball starts with potential energy and ends with kinetic. Now a little more complicated because we've got a potential energy that's based on the center of the Earth, not a height above the Earth. Anyways, let's see how this looks. So all the energy initial, if I sum it all up, according to conservation of energy, has to equal all the energy final, if I sum it all up. Now his initial energy consists of just potential. He's at rest. His final energy consists of potential when he's at this location, because I'm still a distance of R away from the center of the Earth. I'll put a little star beside that. That's the one people generally forget. And kinetic. And we know kinetic is just one half mv squared. Now let's put in our values here, or at least our formulas. Our initial potential energy, we're going to use the formula negative g, little m, big M. Little m is the mass of the Martian, big M is the mass of the planet, or the Earth in this case, all over the distance between those two masses, which in this case is 4r. Now his final energy is negative again, same formula. But now, at this location, his distance is just r away. And kinetic is one half of his mass v squared. Now, there's a little mass, mass of the Martian in every term, so we don't need that. And we're trying to solve for v squared. So let's get all these gm's over r's over to one side. So what do we end up with? We end up with negative gm over 4r. And when I add a gm over r to both sides, I get plus gm over r equals 1 half v squared. Now it's important to do your algebra here. The most common mistakes that I see are just calculator errors. So try and simplify it as much as humanly possible. So we've got gm and r that are common in both terms. So I'm going to factor out a gm over r. So gm over r. And what am I left with? Well, I'm left with negative one-fourth for the first one and a one for the second one. And all of that equals one-half v squared. Well, negative one-quarter plus one, you can think of one, if we go to common denominators, as four over four, is three-quarters. So the left-hand side becomes gm over r times three-fourths equals one-half v squared. Now I can multiply both sides by two and then do a little cancelling and you'll end up getting, and I'll do it up here, v squared is three gm all over two times r. And when we actually solve for v, we need to take a square root. And if I put in g, m is the mass of the Earth, which you can look up, and r is the radius of the Earth, you end up getting your answer as 9680. So I'm not going to do all the calculations for you. You guys should confirm that that's true. But point is, make sure you set up the proper conservation of energy equation and include your final potential energy because you're a distance away from the center of the planet. 
and then do as much algebra as you possibly can to get it down to a simple expression because then there's less chance of messing it up on your calculator.